Okay, got the Mighty Mule automatic gate and lock. Inside the box, it was very well packaged, by the way. I just kind of already looked at a few things, but we got our instruction manual here. And if I come across some tips that you might need for installation, I will definitely let you know within this video. All right, so what I like about it right off the bat is the sticker. So the sticker does not come on the lock. So if you want an all black lock, I'll show that to you in just a second here, then don't put on the sticker. We also have our pin and our little pin cap here. And it looks like a couple of other little wiring connectors. We'll get to that in a little bit. You also have some wire nut caps. Looks like some more elongated wires, some zip ties. And in the package here, what I really like about this, this is solid. I believe this is either, I don't know if it's powder coated, but a uh, nice gloss black finish to it. Again, solid metal, very high end. This is not your chintzy, dinky plastic. You do have a little small little lock troll board right here. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna need to wire this up with my board, but I will definitely let you know, but they do come with that as well. Looks like there is a little time adjustment knob on uh, that little board as well. We'll put that out of the way for right now. And then our locking unit here, a uh, lot of wire. So I have a huge gate. I believe my gate is, I'll have to get a measurement on it. It's way over there, but uh, it's pretty big. I want to say 10 foot, could be a 12 footer. And the box is on the opposite side. So this is giving me plenty of room to work with. And then again, it is bubble wrapped and the keys were attached, but I already disconnected those. And you have two keys that manually override the little internal locking mechanism as you can see there now the directions do state to use a little silicone spray in there for longevity while you do give it a go now the lock is very beefy so all this is one unit it's all connected together there is your lock right there so as the gate closes your pin is going to be in here like this and then this is going to lock up with this like that there now, other reviewers have stated that what they do is they take the pin and they thread some threading on the end of it and use an actual nut so that it's just a little bit more secure. I'm out here in the country, so I'm not really particularly concerned about that. But for the city folks in a high, in an area where you need a gate and you need a little bit more extra prevention because someone could literally just take a screwdriver and pop that little nut off that sits on the bottom of the pin, remove the pin, and then they could override your gate or try to budge through with their you know, stomach or whatnot. But anyway, just let you know about that. So the only thing silver on this is this. Besides that, I really like how it's all black because I am going to be painting my gate as well. So let's go ahead and get into the installation process. Now, the FM 143 again does give you this little microchip board. I personally did not need it on my 371W. All right, folks, I do want to show you how I rigged up my auto lock for my Mighty Mule 371W single gate here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Same method should apply to your 372 dual gate. Now, I do have to do a little bit of wire management, but let me show you exactly what I did here. So the line to the auto lock is super long. I'll show you that in just a second. I got a lot of cord management I need to do right over here on this side. I got a very large gate and the lock is all the way over there on the other side. Let me show you how I wired it up first and foremost here. The directions are pretty clear, but if you don't know what a jumper wire is, hopefully this will help you here. So this is the line coming in and then it's already split off like this here when you get it from the manufacturer. I got mine on Amazon. I'll link it in the description box below if you don't already have one. So let's get in here nice and tight here and let me show you what's going on. So our black wire, our negative, goes forth from the left in the NO slot right there. Again, forth to the left. Then we skip one and then we go sixth from the left. We go our positive wire in the sixth to the left and that one, trying to get a clear shot on here is V plus right there. So again, black fourth from the left, red six from the left. Then you take a jumper wire. This is just a small 14 gauge low voltage wire. And it doesn't have to be this long, but you just loop it around, strip off both the ends of it. And then the third from the left, insert your wire there for your jumper wire. And that's going to be in a C slot. Again, this is the 371W motherboard. And that again is going to be in the third from the left slot. And then you're going to come all the way over seventh from the left into a blank one, just kind of where that line goes up right there. So again, you can pause this right here and look at the confirmation. But again, 
again, it loops over seventh to the left. And that's just a jumper wire. And then these are your auto lock wires right here. It comes down, obviously. Let's go ahead and show you how long it is. Now, again, I do have to do some cord management here. As we come around the top here, I'm going to go ahead and zip tie it in really nicely, make it look a little bit more streamlined. But the reason you get this lock, and this isn't the permanent, I need to shave that down a little bit. It's a little funky. It's a lot easier on something solid. But when you have like an open gate like this, it is a little bit funky. I just took some material I already had. I'm going to go ahead and cut that little piece down but this piece right here was a really nice little mount here as we can see and then I'll probably cut down these little bolts here but this is just a piece of Stanley some sort of uh, framing metal and I was able to get some bolts in there a lot of people what they do is they do u-bolts or car muffler bolts you know type of a uh, little u-bolt type of a method but I locked it into place right here now it does need to be level with your gate top right over here as well and then we come over so it's nice and level here. It looks really good. I like it without the Mighty Mule logo there. Some people do spray paint that if they're really concerned about that. I'm not really too particular about that. But since I'm up against a post right here, see how it sits flush like this? I actually had to add a little piece of wood drilled into my post right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out this little pin. The pin slides around. I don't have the bottom little thing on, but even if you do, it's still going to kind of bob around like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and thread that, put a nut on it so it's nice and tight. So that's not, you know, working its way around. There's kind of how I did it a little bit better. Some washers and some long bolts and then on this side here some lock washers and some washers here as you can see right here so what happens let me grab my key clicker is when i hit the key clicker it's going to unlock here and that's why it's when it's wired in so it's actually going to pull back the lock open up and then obviously the gate's going to go all the way back over here and then when it comes back in right about here you'll actually hear the lock engage once again and then it will lock up and then engage so it's nice and tight. The reason I went with this, it's definitely a little pricey, but the reason I went with this is because I have a pup, we get strong winds here, and I was a little concerned about bowing of the gate, potentially her getting out, etc. And this is also, you know, if you are worried about security or whatnot, it does have the manual key here that you can unlock and lock it for some reason if power goes down, etc. But let me go ahead and show you here a little test here. So I'll hit the button and you heard a click and then see it re-engaged right there and then it'll go back and then I'll edit this down. While we're waiting on that, let me show you how I kind of mounted this here. And then this right now is just kind of free and clear, but even with a little provided little thing that they want you to kind of put on the end of it, it's not large enough to hold that into place. So it's still kind of jarring around like that. So again, that's the only kind of fault in it where that pin isn't exactly the best. All right, here we go here. So let me show you what happens. It will, so right now it's on the lock position and then it will re-engage the unlock very soon, in about two seconds here. Right there. Slide in and then lock once again right there. So a little added security, especially in a windy condition. There were some folks on the other Amazon reviews that were talking about living in California with some strong winds. Their double gate was bowing and whipping around. And this has definitely helped with that. A lot of people were like, why did I wait so long? It's definitely pricey. This is going to cost you about, goodness gracious, half the price of what I paid for the gate. But if it's security for my pup, staying in not being able to get out then definitely worthwhile here's a good testament to the fm 143 we got about 20 mile an hour 22 mile an hour winds right now and uh gate's not budging at all look at the grass over here up and around yeah it's 18 gusts 22 not budging at all I like what i'm seeing Overall, thumbs up in my book. Just need to work on uh, that, make it look a little bit prettier. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.